You know, imagine a young baseball player uh, stepping up to the plate. It's the bottom of the ninth. His team is trailing by two points. Bases are loaded. The pitcher winds up and delivers, and as the ball crosses the plate, the loud sound of the crack of the bat making solid contact with the ball is heard throughout the stands. And the ball soars and soars and soars over the fence for the game-winning Grand Slam. Well, the young man makes his lap around the plates, and when he reaches home plate, he's met by his entire team, and they hoist him up on their shoulders in celebration. But that celebration is quickly interrupted when a father uh, yells out from the stands, I am the one that bought his cleats. I am the one that brought him down here. I am the one that feeds and houses him. Now we would have a pretty low opinion of a father like that, wouldn't we? I mean, what a jerk. (laughs) Sometimes I wonder if Christians think our Heavenly Father is going to react like that. Have you ever noticed when when someone is given a sincere and unsolicited compliment, they uh, immediately start deflecting the praise? It's as if God is going to make a scene just like that narcissistic father. Well, maybe that's not it. Maybe what they think is they're afraid that if they accept any credit for the good deed, the humility police will write them a citation for pride. Now, uh, l- let me be clear. Pride is a hindrance in our spiritual walk. The Bible clearly says so. Pride goeth before destruction, a haughty spirit before a fall. That's Proverbs sixteen eighteen. You know, I burst into flames watching football players showboating in the end zone after a touchdown. You know, I promise you they would not do that if I were the coach. I'm with Bear Bryant. After you score a touchdown, uh, try to act like you've done it before. Uh, find the first referee, hand them the ball, and make your way back to the sideline. We've got more game to play. Aren't we instructed to be an encouragement to one another? Well, what good is it for me to offer a sincere word of encouragement, you know, if you start acting like I've spilled something on you? Oh, gosh! Oh, God is going to have a temper tantrum. I have, gosh, my spirit can be permanently soiled if I don't get this off of me right away. Absurd, isn't it? When offered a sincere an unsolicited compliment, it's okay to respond with a sincere thank you. If the humility police show up, just tell them they have no authority in this matter. Well, that's what I think, but I'm interested in your thoughts, but be careful not to offer me a compliment. Um, There's a lot of ways you can hit me up. Uh, You can leave your comments below. Uh, You can connect with me on Twitter. I'm at data genesis and um i'd like you to check out a um a place where you can go 24 7. Uh, it's a chat room but it's a whole lot more uh they actually play videos like this one but the other ones are of course less interesting but probably more theologically sound um you know you're gonna meet some great people it's uh it's pj nets um live chat room and to get there uh, you can go to patriotjournalist.com and when you get there uh, just click on the link that says live hashtag rallies Uh, i'd look forward to seeing you there